Well, it's nine past eight, Sunday, February the 16th, and there's a line of people waiting to get into that door that's closed. We were told it'd be open at 6.30 a.m. Guess the gal's mixed up because they don't do that on Sundays, and they don't open till eight o'clock a.m. on Sundays. It is currently nine past eight. The door is still locked. We're waiting for resupply and coffee. It is now 8.20 and we just heard that the door might be getting unlocked. So well, after a very long, long morning, it is almost 9.30 and we finally resupplied, had coffee, and back on trail. We're going through the beautiful bridge and over the river and through the woods, quite literally, haha. -ha. And uh, I'm gonna make the best out of the day. We're shooting for a 20, and that's technically our next water source. So we're packing four liters of water each, and I'm gonna see how the day turns out. We're at Cooper's Bluff campsite. Sadly, we got this uh, unmaintained cabin. You know, we could get a whole bunch of volunteers together. You know, we could butter this up. You got water. Let's see if it works still. No, it's dead. You know, but if we could get some help from volunteers, even myself in the future, maybe, we could butter this back up and get some donations. Get it fixed up. We can have a nice little cabin to chill out as through hikers. This would be a great spot to have that done up. Look at that great puppy going around that tree following me. Yeah. Yes. Nice little fire rig. Looks like somebody's been chowing down pretty hardy on some oysters. Look at that. Yum. That was a good night. Too bad they couldn't have picked up all the shells though. Burlap bag sitting there. Yeah, leave no trace everybody. Come on now. Our parks are pretty. Clean up your messes. So in a day, notice this really cool burrow. Burrow? B-U-R-L, burrow. It's a gross, isn't that neat? This ginormous, beautiful tree, left alone, not cut down.
Look at that pup. In a day, beat us to the campsite. A nice little spot. We can stop here for a few minutes and eat some garbage out of our backpack. Get hydrated. Look at the beautiful picnic tables. They're so fancy. Big giant piece of galvanized square stock, some brown stock bolted on. Nobody trips on anything or stubs their toes. Bravo, whoever built this. This must have been designed by a farmer. Farmer doesn't like stubbing his toes. And we're treated by a nice groomed dirt country road. And at lunchtime, about a good hour ago, it started sprinkling on us. And we said some words that, well, no, let me rephrase that. I, as an individual, said some words that were not appropriate, that are not on camera. And I kind of asked for a break. Well, we're getting it. Look at those blue patches. It was supposed to downpour on us and it just decided not to. I think it's because Pup is cute and she's the actual one that really asked for it nicely. So in the meantime, in a day, and Pup and myself get to enjoy this beautiful little dirt road walk and splashes right behind us. Like, <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, she's the little dot. Oh, there we go. See you soon, Splash. And we're treated by our third cemetery on the trail. Stroud Cemetery. Nice old place. We're not going to go in. We're not going to disrespect the dead. Most of these stones are in the mid and 1800s. 1892. 1884. See the old stonework, the old graves. No pup, you, you be respectful, you stay back. We don't go in there. We got no business being in there. We disrespect them and share what we found and everybody can lay down and rest in peace. You've done hard work.
this is the trail currently. It's like all these giant like ruts and like some excavator went through here and like created chaos. It's not bad though. Not complaining. We're not walking through like rattlesnakes and ow, ooh, never mind. Ouch, stones. <laughs> we all got our rain gear on, including pepperoni. Yep, she's very unhappy as you can see. The rain is coming. Hey. So this is the trail. Are we positive this is the trail? Happy people? <laughs> so as you can see, my, my feet sink very far. Someone did a great job of prepping the trail. And people that weigh, you know, you know, like 35 pounds right now or 40 pounds have no issues, but us intelligent people that weigh 200 pounds and then carry 45 pounds on top of that sink really far. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, at least it's raining. <laughs> Several miles later, we are still on the difficult path. Thank you, whoever got rid of all of the brush and completely bulldozed, rototilled, or harrowed this. Thank you. Please run a very heavy roller over it and compact it for us. <laughs> Not complaining, thank you for clearing the brush. But it's still challenging. Well, we got three o'clock in the afternoon. Rain is still happening and it's getting chilly. We're wet and cold now. And we got, uh, Turned out to be eight miles of road walk. Right now it's a dirt road, so that's not bad. Wild turkey's on board. Pepperoni's doing her thing. I'm in my water shoes. Don't regret it. Boots are in the pack. I'm just gonna make the best out of the day. It's supposed to rain, I guess, till Friday. We'll see what happens. And the drama continues between putting away the pot or not. She's putting the lid on the pot. And she's putting the pot in the refrigerator. The pot is now in the fridge. This took 15 minutes. All right, so we're at the church here, and it's a beyond a blessing. I mean, someone is watching over us. I know a lot of you pray for us. Thank you. Uh, Inna Day is with me right now over here. She's getting her stuff. Hi, Inna Day. Hey. <laughs> there she is. So pepperonis passed out. Um, they've really helped us out. We walk in cold, cold rain. Uh, what would you say? Twelve miles today, probably twelve. In the rain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so twelve miles in the rain. And we were all chattering teeth. We were cold, and it, we were pretty pathetic. And the uh, the church really came through, and they had given us a warm, dry spot to air dry our stuff and everything. And really taking advantage of the time in here, um, getting pups' gear. Pups 
hood. I had some clear tape on her rain gear that uh, failed. So in a day, I actually had good tape, good gorilla tape, because I ran out. So thank you in a day. She rocks, and she's still got more tape on her trekking pole. So if anybody's seen my videos, you know that hikers put tape on their trekking poles and it's in, in emergency situations you can't have a better tape than gorilla tape or duct tape don't buy duck tape which is made for duct work make sure you get duck tape so but gorilla tape really supersedes it's a little heavier but the adhesive is amazing i've changed my boot booties um i was having a little bit of an issue i'm staying on the toe everybody knows that seen my videos I have been experimenting with a new design this year. I still love them. I'm putting the zip on the back of the boot now, a reverse zip, and I had to put on the front an extra little bit of tape here underneath because they were sliding up on my toe a little bit. But we're getting ready for another, what, four days of rain? I think it is. Yeah, we got like four days of rain we're gonna be walking through. Um, in a day is going to experiment. She's going to use some boot booty, so I'm really impressed. She's going to, yeah, she's going to try it. <laughs> oh, I got the dance. Got the dance. Um, so other than that, we're getting everything air dried, literally. Um, we were drenched and really pathetic. So we're going to be spending the night in here, and we're going to pack out early. And um, there's been arrangements for us. So if we hit a 23 and a half mile day, we're supposed to have another dry, warm place tomorrow night. Uh, so we're, um, we're tired, we're, we, we came in here pretty cold. You can see I'm exhausted, my face is cold, my eyes are cold. Uh, we came in chattering teeth, it was so bad. So, you know, this is a real blessing. And thank everybody out there praying for us, it works. Oh yeah, the church wouldn't be, thank you in a day church went beyond above they made fresh hot chicken noodle soup for us i mean you know right on you know and i'm, I'm thanking you that the the church is going to be watching these videos in the future they're signing up so thank you big personal thank you you know you let pup come into your home here you know and everybody else and it's been an absolute blessing and we really needed to get dry um uh, wild turkey he didn't know it until we got in here but his sleeping bag was soaking wet so his bag liner didn't quite get adjusted or something in his pack it's too bad so um, again you know if anybody has been watching any of the videos and they know about bag liners from my shakedowns and stuff we're all using them right now uh, bag liners are not a joke in the rain you can't over prepare in rain it's it's very very difficult you're going to shiver you're going to be cold and you need backup plans and you need a dry set of clothes so we're going to chill down get some rest and we are starting early tomorrow we're going to a big day 23 and a half miles and that'll be in a day's biggest day since the at yeah. so <laughs> she's yeah. she's She's on it. We got a new bubble little form, you know, for a day. We'll see how long it lasts, and uh, we'll go from there.